So in this video we're going to take a look at using the column method for multiplication and we're going to look at a couple of different examples. So the first example we're going to look at is 23 times 45. Now the first thing we need to do is multiply this 5 by the 23 and we do this by first of all doing 5 times 3. So 5 times 3 gives us 15. We put the 5 down here and we carry the 1 from the 15 from the 10. And now we need to do 5 times 2. 5 times 2 gives us 10 and we add on this 1 that we've carried over. So 5 times 2 gives us 10, we add 1, and we get 11. We now need to multiply this 4 by everything, but it's not really a 4, it's actually a 40. So we need to put in a placeholder 0 to make sure we're multiplying by an extra 10. So then we multiply this 40 by the 23. So 4 times 3, first of all, gives us 12. So we put the 2 down here, again we carry the 1 from the 10 that we've got. And then we do 4 times 2 which gives us 8, and we add on this carried 1, which gives us 9. Now that we've got these two numbers, we add these two together. 5 times 0 gives us 5, 1 times 2 gives us 3, 1 to add 9 gives us 10. So we get an answer of 1035. Okay, let's now look at 37 times 215. So this time you see we've got a number in the hundreds, on the bottom. It only changes what we do slightly. So first of all, 5 times 7 gives us 35. We carry the 3 over. 5 times 3 gives us 15. We add this carried 3, we get 18. Now with multiplying by this 1, but remember it's not a 1, it's a 10. So we put a placeholder 0 in. 1 times 7 gives us 7. And 1 times 3 gives us 3. Now on to our third row. We're going to multiply by this 2. But remember it's not a 2, it's a 200. So we put in two placeholder zeros. Looks like that. Now we multiply this 2 by the 37. 2 times 7 gives us 14. Well, we put this 4 down, we carry the 1 over. And 2 times 3 gives us 6. We add this 1 that we've carried over from the previous bit. 2 times 3 gives us 6, add 1 gives us 7. And now we add these three numbers up. 5 add 0 add 0 gives us 5. 8 add 7 add 0 gives us 15. Carry this 1 over. 1 add 3 gives us 4, add another 4, 8. And add this 1, 9. And 7, we don't add anything to it. So we're just left with the 7. So the answer we get, 7,955. So we see in this one that we put these two placeholder zeros here. If then we had a four-digit number here, the fourth column that we multiplied by would have three placeholder digits and so on. So we could do this for any number of digits along here. We just get an extra placeholder digit each time.